Hey everybody, Sammy here. Today I wanna to talk about a really common side effect from a lot of our chemotherapies called neuropathy. Neuropathy is a side effect that causes feelings of burning, pain and discomfort, most often in the extremities of the fingers and hands and in the toes and the feet. It can also affect other areas such as the lips, but these are a little bit less common. So neuropathy is a side effect that is very common due to certain types of treatment because of the damage to the nerve endings. There are definitely some medications that can help with the neuropathy side effects, but we really wanna talk about some wellness strategies today. So next I'm gonna introduce Sarah, and she's gonna to talk to you about some exercises that you can do to hopefully slow down the progression and also keep you safe from things like falls and other risk factors that could cause more damage to your body. So the important thing with neuropathy is we want to try and improve the brain to extremity connection. So for your hands, we want to make sure we're taking those hands through your full range of motion. You can open and close them. You could grab a stress ball and kind of squeeze that ball for a little strengthening component. Take your thumb to each fingertip to keep that coordination going. You can take your hands, kind of rotate from the forearm, making sure that we're just staying coordinated in each way we can. And taking your wrist flexing and extending those wrists just to keep them moving. Now I'm going to bring Emily in to show you some exercises we can do for our feet. So for the feet, you can sit with your feet on the floor and lift up your heels and then lift up your toes. Good. You can leave your feet flat on the floor and slide your feet out to the sides and back in. Try and keep your knees still while you do this and just move your feet. Good. And now try and scrunch up your toes, kind of like you're trying to pick a sock up off the floor. And now for a harder one, see if you can pick up just your big toes. Good. And lower down. These all really help keep that connection from your toes to your brain going.